Welcome to the lecture on technology plugin T9. Um, here we're going to be uh, working with Gantt charts in Excel. We'll show how to create Gantt charts in Excel. And we'll also give some background on what Gantt charts are. <clears throat> So a Gantt chart is widely used in project management and we'll explain uh, what it is and where it came from uh, in this lecture. We'll also then describe how we can create a Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel. Um, Henry Gantt uh, developed his famous uh, chart as a tool for scheduling work in factories. A Gantt chart is a standard format for displaying project schedule information by listing project activities and their corresponding start and finish dates in a calendar format. Um, Excel does not offer a Gantt as a chart type, but it is fairly easy to create such a chart by using a stacked bar chart. So let's go through the steps of doing that. Uh, but first, uh, let's go ahead and calculate the end date. So Excel does uh, recognize uh, date types, and it will do date arithmetic. So I have a duration of four days, and my start date is March 1st of 2019. To get the end date, I just type in equals B4 plus C4 minus 1. And the reason I subtra uh, subtracted 1 is if because the first date is the 0. You're starting on that date. So that's 0. You add 4 to 0 and you come up to 3. So that's 4 minus 1. So uh, once we've got the uh, end date correct for our scope, then I can just drag that formula to all the other tasks. So I select the bottom right corner of that formula cell and I drag it to the uh, other tasks in our project and I now have end dates for them as well. So let's go on to create <clears throat> uh, a Gantt chart. So in your homework you'll be doing the same thing with the uh, end date and then when we create uh, the Gantt chart, we're going to use task, start date, and duration. We will not include the end date. We'll go up to uh, insert, and then we'll uh, insert a uh, column and bar chart. And in this case, we're going to insert a stacked bar chart. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll put in Gantt chart. Okay, so um, so we've got uh, uh, the beginnings here, but obviously there's some problems with uh, what we've done so far. So what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to uh, get rid of that uh, blue, uh, that uh, blue, those blue uh, bars um, for the uh, start date data series because what we're really interested in the Gantt chart is we have the start date <clears throat> as our horizontal column, so we're really only interested in the duration. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. And what I'll do is just highlight that data series because start date is one data series and duration is a, another data series. So I highlight the one of the blue bars, I just click it, and it highlights all of them and the start date. <clears throat> and then I can go ahead and right click. And if you'll notice up top, I've got the uh, capability of changing the fill. So I'm going to change the fill to white so that now, okay, that looks a little better. Um, I only see the durations for what I want to do. 
The other the next thing that's a little out of whack is our dates are all a jumble. So I'm going to select that one and then go down to Format Axis and I'm going to look at Number and of course it's a date and I'm going to choose the type of date. So I'm going to choose a month day format because that will be less data uh, on that crowded horizontal axis and perhaps it won't be such a jumble. So we do that, close this, and yes it's, it's much better now. Um, we can actually see things and uh, make, make sense of what a, a start date is and so on. <clears throat> Uh, another problem we have <clears throat> is that our vertical axis is in reverse order. So um, what I'm going to do uh, is uh, just right click one of the labels here, go down to, uh, when I say here I mean on that vertical axis. I'm going to go down to format axis and You'll notice under Axis Options, the last uh, thing I can do before I hit tick marks is Categories in Reverse Order. So I'm going to check that, and now I close my box, and yes, this looks much better because now I have uh, my categories in the proper order. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> Next, what I want to do um, is I have a, a padding in the front of my actual start date, and I may just want to see it from the uh, actual start date. So uh, what I'll do is um, right-click the uh, horizontal axis, and then uh, go to Format Axis, and you'll notice I have boundaries here, minimum and maximum. These are the number of days since a certain time in the past that are counted forward uh, for Excel. So if I change this, so for example, instead of 43,460, if I type in 43,500, you'll notice that I've gotten rid of a lot of my um, uh, padding up front. So what I'll do is I'll just change this. It looks like I need a little bit more so I'll try uh, 25 and there that looks better uh, to me. So uh, I changed the minimum bounds to 43,525 a little bit higher than Excel gives it by default. And now I have something that looks like a Gantt chart. So that's uh, what we'll be doing for our uh, group work for Technology Plugin T9. Thank you.